I always thought that eventually I would grow out of roller coasters and theme parks. But I'm heading towards 50 and I still love it. Ah! It just makes me feel like a kid. And that's good. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's a good job you're on that side. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Level 8 Luggage. Good afternoon from Kuala Lumpur. So we're in an indoor shopping centre now called Bajaya Times Square. And the theme park is actually inside on the fifth floor. So we're going to have a little bit of fun today and we're going to head to the theme park. Oh, that's how. Oh, the train. <laughs> I found the leaf, the sound from this leaf. <laughs> Okay, so we can go on nine rides. Yeah. Okay. All right. Where you come from? From England. England. Yes. Are you from Kuala Lumpur? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so 150. Thank you. Ticket cannot out in eh? Okay. Just one and three. Okay. Really quickly, before we carry on with today's video, I'd just like to tell you about this luggage that I've just recently started using. Today's video is sponsored by Level 8 who have kindly gifted me with this suitcase. I was in need of something durable, waterproof and able to carry my laptop and to my surprise, the Roadrunner suitcase does all of that. Let me show you some of the features which I think are absolutely wonderful. Firstly, the dimensions of the suitcase are perfect for placing in the overhead locker. For example, I travel on a regular basis and often have to pay for checked in luggage, but this suitcase goes in the overhead locker, no problem, and this will definitely save me money and I won't need to pay for checked luggage every time I travel from now on. The case is waterproof, lightweight and hard shell, which is fantastic when you want to protect your items such as your camera, or your laptop. There's also enough storage space inside, probably for about three to five days. So it's perfect for any weekend trip that you're going on. For me, I always like to try and travel as lightly as possible. So I think this case is suitable for anybody who wants to take it away on a weekend or if you want to travel lightly. Something else which I think is wonderful are the 360 degree spinner wheels. The case is so easy to manoeuvre and you can carry it on all surfaces rather than dragging it along. It simply just glides along by your side. The front compartment is what totally won me over. You can simply open the front of the suitcase and pop in your laptop and any accessories that you need to carry. And there's also a dual TSA approved combination lock for the front pocket and the main section of the suitcase. This will keep the case secure. If you're interested in purchasing any of the products from Level 8, there's a link in the description and there's also a discount code, ALWAYSJOURNEY10. If you input that discount code, that will entitle you to a 10% discount. And if you have any questions about the Roadrunner suitcase, drop me a message or leave a comment on the video. I'm more than happy to help you. Thanks to Level 8 for this lovely suitcase. I definitely think that'll last me for quite a few years. Now let's get back to the video. All right, That's lovely. You just stand up Thank there. you. Thank I'm you. just going to take a photograph of this just for okay. my channel. Oh, okay. oh. oh that's lovely. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. Let's Cheers. Go. Okay, so let's see how this goes because the last time we went to a theme park last year, can you remember Jerry? So last time we went to a theme park, we decided that was the last time we were going to go. We went to Siam Amazing Park I'm in Bangkok. Up. Yeah, and Jerry, what, what happened? Uh, I threw up. Yes, yeah, so Jerry threw up 
but when we seen this last night we thought yeah let's give it a go I've got a voucher here and I'll leave a link in the description explaining to you which rides are included in the price because some of them are included but some of them are payable rides let's get in there Hello. Hi. Thank you. How are you? Are you okay? Are you okay, sir? Thank you. Are you, sir? Good. Thank you. When Hello. you first walk in, you'll spot this map, and this map is numbered from number one all the way to number 30. And you can have a look at the area on the top, okay? So I think, are we, so we're here. Yes, yeah, so we're here, number one. So you can just work your way around, ask for a map when you pay as well. But as I said earlier, some of the rides you do need to pay for. So we'll have a look out for that on the way around. We'll see which ones you need to pay for. I want to try this first. Is he, is he? Dizzy, is he? <laughs> oh, well, you'll be sick after that one and then you won't go on anymore. Which one looks the most interesting to me? Let's have a look. So there's a haunted house. Yeah. Oh, there's two haunted houses. That one VR. This looks, this looks a little bit like something called Dodgems, the Robo Crash. It's really quiet. It doesn't seem like there's many people here at all. Um, there's people on the roller coaster, but on foot, we actually haven't seen any other people yet. Um, good for us because we can just hop on, hop off, hop on, hop off until our heart's content. Right, what are we waiting for? Are you scared, Jerry? Oh, <laughs> if you were standing here, there would be a 40 minute waiting time. I don't think there'll be any waiting time today. We're totally in luck today. There's no queue at all. We are right at the front of the queue. Jerry, do you want to sit at the front or the back? Sit at the front. No, I'm gonna sit at the front. Let's sit at the front. Go at the front. Yeah. Or the back. The front's better. The front is okay. I think we're gonna have the full ride by ourselves as well. Phone and everything must be inside the box. Okay. He feels scared. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yew! Ah. Do you want to go again? I went downstairs. <laughs> well, that was fun. I don't remember ever in my life going on a roller coaster where there was no queue. We literally went straight in, got straight on the ride, and if you want to go straight back on, you can. What did you think, Jerry? Uh, I think it's good. It's fun. It's quite long. Are you ready for the next ride? Let's go something uh, a little bit easier. 
Come on then. Hey, my friend. When when we were twelve, my friend went up there, but she didn't uh, get the belt, and then she fall off, and her teeth a little bit chipped. Oh, let's hope that doesn't happen to us. Chill. Huh? You look chill. I feel a little bit <laughs> That was a long ride. I thought it was never going to end. And I can actually feel my belly. I can feel my lunch swishing around a little bit in my belly. And I understand why it's called Dizzy Izzy because I do feel a little bit dizzy. But I'm ready for the next one. Uh, this ride that we're about to go on now, this one's called the Spinning Orbit. And judging by what it looks like, it doesn't look like it'll make you feel as sick as the Dizzy Izzy. We'll see. Oh, thank you. Did you expect it to be this quiet? I thought there would be more people, but then I guess it is a Friday, so most kids are at, most kids are probably at school. one's all right it's high but it doesn't make my belly feel sickly I think it's swirling. really yeah I feel okay I think Jerry's got a little bit more of a sensitive stomach than me <laughs> I think my stomach is more sensitive to yours if I eat chili if I eat chili my stomach's more sensitive but if we go to a water park or a theme park Jerry's the sickly one no need to scream on here <laughs> unless you fall out <laughs> now supersonic tick rover crash tick dc easy tick spinning orbit tick another one the last one for the adults bubble express okay how do you think you pronounce that do you think it's it looks like it's ooh Express, how what would you say? Ooh, art. Ooh, art. Express. Uh, Off we go. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ah, ah. 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 <laughs> ah. 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 Ah.
was expecting for not there, sir. <laughs> oh. Get a bit from me. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a good job you're on that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I've got a right choice. <laughs> yeah. Oh. How do you feel? Close up. Uh, <laughs> that's um. Shall I phone for a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Nurse! Man down! A little bit of a tip for you. If you go on this one, the Uitz Express, if there's two of you, don't go on the same one. Go in one on your own. Because Jerry was squashing me, and if I was on the other side, can you imagine if I was squashing Jerry the size of me compared to him? Yeah, so he chose the right seat, but definitely go in on your own, it'll be nicer. I always thought that eventually I would grow out of roller coasters and theme parks, but I'm heading towards 50 and I still love it. It just makes me feel like a kid, and that's good. The Bajaya Times Square Indoor Theme Park is designed to be family friendly. Many of the rides can accommodate both adults and children, making it a great activity for family of all ages. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, you're going too fast. I don't like it. Get down, man. Oh, I feel sick. <laughs> and I think that's about it for us. We've been here about two and a half hours to three hours, and we've been on about seven rides, I think. But if you're looking for something to do on a rainy day when you're in Kuala Lumpur, I would say that this is a good choice, especially if you've got kids. It opens at 12 o'clock and it closes at eight. Two and a half hours to three hours was probably more than enough for us. But thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video.